Hey guys and gals, it's your girl Shereen Nicole back with another video of a little bit of everything. So, as you can see, I got a skillet on the stove. <laughs> Guess what we're making today? If you haven't guessed, I'm gonna tell you. We're making chicken parmesan. So, right now I'm just showing you guys the breadcrumbs. I got the flour out, the oil is going. Got the chicken already seasoned. I got some egg wash over there in the corner. So it's like, egg wash is like milk and eggs and you just scramble it up. And the chicken, I believe, was seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. Just normal stuff. Keep it simple, right? So I'm just gonna show you what I do to get this chicken parmesan going. So normally, guys, what I would do is take the chicken and dip it in the egg wash first. That's just what I've been accustomed to. But I said, let me try it a different way. <laughs> So I'm actually going to go ahead and dip it into the flour first and then after I do that, I'm going to make sure that's nice and coated on both sides and then I'm going to dip it into the egg wash. So as you can see, I'm making sure it's nicely coated. Once it's coated, of course you're gonna have some spots that you're missing and stuff because well your fingers are holding on to the chicken and well you're gonna miss that spot where you're holding the chicken. So you just tap off all the excess as much as you can. And then you just go ahead and dip it in the egg wash. Both sides, people, both sides. <laughs> Listen, I made do with what I had, so you know that tray is clearly from the Chinese store. <laughs> Try to get all the excess drip of egg off and make sure you have your stuff next to each other and not dripping all over the place like I am back and forth. After that you go ahead and coat them with some breadcrumbs. This is a messy process guys so when I tell you my stove was looking cray cray after all this cooking it was looking crazy. <laughs> so make sure it's coated on both sides with that. And then, you know, of course, you got your oil heating up while this is going on. And, um, yeah, there's your oil. Nice and breaded, already done. Getting ready to slide it into that skillet. And that's what my stove is looking like, guys. <laughs> if your stove ain't looking like this, then you ain't cooking right. Okay, you need a little flour everywhere. You need a little cornmeal or whatever it is you're cooking with everywhere. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and drop this piece in there, show you guys the flames, kind of like a medium, I want to say a medium, medium high heat. Yep, here we go, ooh look at that sizzle. <laughs> yep, so you get as many pieces in the skillet as you can, try not to burn yourself. You lay those in there. You don't want to accidentally put your your finger in there. So right now I'm just uh, setting the timer for three minutes, which I'm failing to do <laughs> miserably. But oh, I got it now. So set it and forget it. Then you turn them over on the next three minutes. A nice golden brown. So we're almost to the third minute. And if your strips are like thin, like I bought these already pre-sliced so you can get um, thin cut chicken breasts or chicken cutlets, whatever they call it. Or you can get, you know, chicken breasts and slice them in half yourself, which will make for a more meatier cutlet. So I got them already sliced, you know, just so I can do this video and show you guys what to do and I don't want to have to cut them in half. <laughs> so I was being lazy. But um, yeah, if they're a little thin, then you kind of want to turn them a little early. It's almost like eyeballing it. This one is a little bit thicker. I could have left that a little bit longer, and I think I do. Yeah, I'll leave it a little bit longer. But, um, you know, you can always go back and open up the chicken and cut a piece and make sure it's good to go. Look at that goldenness. See? Right here. Break a piece open, make sure it's good to go. Look at that meat actually came out really good 
yeah, as you can see, picking at it. <laughs> so now we got the sauce. That's what I use. The Chunky Garden. It tastes really, really good, guys. Really good. I really think you guys should try this recipe. I think you should hit me up. Let me know how it comes out for you. Or let me know if you put a twist on your chicken parmesan or how you do yours. But this is what I'm doing to mine. Now I will say, I wish I would have put a little bit more sauce. It really depends on your preference of whether you're a sauce person or you like more cheese. Or how you like your chicken. Do you want it well done? Well, of course you want your chicken well done. But meaning like, do you want it like just right or you like it a little crispy? You know so this cheese guys when I tell you I was using this cheese don't use this cheese I don't know what the heck Kelowna's I, I, I don't know what I don't know <laughs> just it looks really good going on that's the hardest cheese I've ever used in my life I think I should have gotten powdered Parmesan I put this in the oven and it kind of crisp up and turned dark brown you'll see that later but it looks good going on guys. I wouldn't recommend this this shredded cheese. So no. This is a no-go on that cheese. <laughs> so yeah, you just you know garnish your thing with your cheese, as much cheese as you want. I'm a cheese head. So I like to put a lot of cheese. And there it is in the oven. So this is out of the oven now. I'm just gonna dress it up with some This is curly parsley. I know I was being a little fancy, so I got the curly kind. <laughs> and you pick and pluck and put them however you want on there. It just it literally just dresses it up. So that's it for that dish. Now I'm going on to the second dish. Can you guess what I'm making, guys, for the second dish? I don't think you can. So this is gonna be the side dish, and it's actually um it's angel hair pasta, which you saw in the box earlier, and it's a cold dish, so you want to run cold water on it. And what I do is put that on everything, which is red hot sweet chili. <laughs> it's like sweet Thai chili sauce. And you put as much as you want. I probably could have used another bottle just to make it super thick because the noodles soak it up. I also have almonds here, so I like to put almonds in there. It gives it a nice crunch. So like I said guys, you do it to your preference, how you like it. This is a cold dish. So after your noodles done and you put them in a bowl, you just want to run them under some cold water until, you know, they're just right. And then um, you add your stuff in. It's quick, it's easy, and it tastes so good. It actually made for a really good side along the chicken parmesan. So right here, I'm just stirring it up to show you guys what it's looking like. But um, yeah, get any excess off that spoon because you know you gotta get it all up in there. <laughs> and um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down below, like this video. Please subscribe if you're liking what my content and what I'm putting out. I'm trying to bring you guys a little bit of everything. And hopefully you stay tuned for the next video, guys. Until next time. Bye.